Hey, in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to use overloaded constructors, aka multiple constructors. The reason why it's useful that we might need multiple constructors is because what if we have like five questions and all, uh, and the user only input or answered three? Then th that constructor with three argument inside the parameter of this will be outputted. Well, let's say this right here, no no user answer anything. So let's say system dot out dot no users inputted. No user submitted anything. Okay. Well, let's have two variables. Do int a and int b. Let's say if the user did answer something. So let's say, all right, we're gonna have two questions right here. So let's do public tutorial again. If the user only answered one question, let's do question. Yeah, if the user answered one question, then they'll run this uh, constructor to be month, but not month. What I'm talking about be equals. All right. If the user input or answer two two questions, then we do public tutorial. Let's do ant quest and ant. Let's do uh, question two. Then it'll be our right, B is equivalent to or A is equivalent to quest again and B equals to quest one. Alright now let's output it by making objects here. Do tutorial T equals new tutorial and parameter without anything inside. Let's output it. Well, actually, there's obviously nothing in the output, so actually, it is. Let's do this. Nah, uh, it's not necessary, actually. Now, let's do tutorial T1 is equivalent to new tutorial. So if the user answered one, then let's say uh, two. All right. Well, now that has, let's output it something. Dot a out system dot out print line. Let's do a. All right. Now let's have uh, another one. Tutorial t two is equivalent to new tutorial. Let's do uh, two and four. Because we have two uh, arguments inside the parameter, let's output it. System out print line. Let's do a plus or let's do a plus parameter b. Okay. Well, now let's output something. Okay. Oh yeah. Make sh make sure you use uh the variables here because this is not static variable. So let's do t t one. 
for this one and then T three for this one. Same over here. same with over here. T actually it's no T three, it's T two actually. <laughs> My mistake. And T two as well over here. T two. Alright, save that. Let's run. Let's clear screen first. Okay, no errors. Pretty good. Alright, it showed everything because I didn't do I didn't put it in a if and else statement, so oh yeah, it should output everything. As you can see we have no user submitted anything from this constructor. And then this right here comes from this constructor if the user only input one question. And we have two and four. I guess the space didn't work out too well. And then have this right here. So uh this part we're done. Now we're going to use this inside the constructors. Instead of using the old way, we can do it the new way. All right. Since there's two total, qu there are two total questions, and the user didn't answer anything for this uh, constructor, type in this. Has your parameter, and type in simply type in zero, and zero since this is an int data type. And this right here is calling for another constructor. So if the user only input one, then type in this and type in uh, the variable in here, quest, and then do zero since they didn't answer the last question. For this one right here, they answered every single thing, so therefore we declared. Uh, the variable a, a equals quest, and b equals quest one. So, right here, it's to, it should work. I'm gonna um, scan all this thing. Make sure you don't have any errors. And then you still have to use the variable t in the answer from here. So let's save that. And now let's output it and run it. No errors. Good. 2 and 24. Well, let's output something. I forgot about that much. All right. This right here, if you're going to add anything in this, in this constructor, make sure this syntax is above every statement. If not, then it won't work. Say so the user didn't submit anything. Save that. Make sure you see that as well. Okay, it works. Now we're going to use a syntax called super. Super is the time when you use when you want to use a constructor from the super class, and you want to include it into your uh, super class. I meant your subclass. So in order to do that, type in extends t2 from here. All right, now we're gonna delete this right here, but first we gotta do this: copy, yeah, copy and paste the whole thing actually. We got one right here set up, so let's do this right here. So I should delete this ready because we don't need that. 
make sure it's T2 because that's the class name T2. T Two. All right, we don't have to change to this because this in the same class. But this, however, has to be super. Let's delete all the all these constructors, but keep this one right here. Instead of instead of using this, type in super because it's useful. Okay, let's make sure everything is set up properly. Okay, we use that. So let's save this and save this, and it should work as well. All right, let's type in our um our errors. Cannot find symbol. Oh yeah, we got copy, delete this as well have it in super class. Why would you want it in subclass if you can have it in super class? Save and save. Okay, errors. Okay, um oh yeah I forgot. Change these to instructor to T two. And change this as well to T two. Okay, now we can save. Okay, no errors. Alright, we also have to save T2. Okay, no errors as well. Alright, that's good. The user didn't submit anything. 2 and 24. See, it works. It's super. This will call for another constructor. And it goes here. They will output this. Only one question. If the user didn't input the third question, uh, yeah. If the user input third question, then it goes to over here, and it'll be declared over here. So uh, this concludes my tutorial over op overloaded constructors, aka multiple constructors. So uh, hopefully you liked it and you learned a lot from it. And stay tuned for my next tutorial. Thank you.